Are you trying to get pregnant? Is it just not happening for you? It could be your nutrient levels. Today I'm going to talk to you about the difference between folic acid and folate and why your doctors might have it completely wrong. Hi, I'm Jodie Bramman, I'm the female health coach, and today I'm going to talk to you about the difference between folic acid and folate. Now, nearly every single healthcare practitioner will be advising for you to get pregnant, and when you are pregnant, to take folic acid. They say that it's really important for everything, they make sure you're on a supplement, they might give it to you in your first midwife appointment. If you can't conceive, there are supplements on the supermarkets all filled with folic acid that are like the best thing ever, but the problem is it's not necessarily what you want for your body and it might actually be doing you more harm than good and today i'm going to be sharing with you that secret as to why now we need in our body vitamin b9 it is super important it's really vital if you're trying to make a baby if your levels are low you might struggle to conceive it's important for your nervous system for your stress response for your moods everything it's so so important however this is called folate. Now folic acid is a synthetic version of folate, a synthetic version of vitamin B9. And whilst most healthcare practitioners will say to you, take this, actually 40 to 60% of the population cannot utilize folic acid in its synthetic form. <gasps> why aren't they telling us this? I have no idea. I've spoken to so many doctors and they go, it's the same thing. I'm like, no, it's not the same thing. It's different because at this 40 to 60% of the population have a genetic mutation on this gene called the MTHFR gene, which means that you cannot break down the synthetic form. It just kind of bounces around in the system. We either need folate in its food state form for it to be absorbable into our body or we need something called methylfolate or methyl tetrahydrofolate in its broken down absorbable form, which means it's gone through certain steps to be absorbable into your body to help your body folate levels rise. If you are not taking the right supplement and you've just picked something off of the shelf, like a multivitamin, I'm not gonna say any brands here, but basic ones that you can find in most supermarkets and most shops, you're probably getting folic acid and then you're folic acid levels and your folate levels are not gonna go up. It's just gonna affect your fertility negatively. I've worked with so many clients where I test their folate levels, which by the way, is one of the most important tests you can get done for your fertility. We test their levels, their levels are low, I get them on a multivitamin or a supplement that is going to have either methyl folate or a food state form and their folate levels go up. It's so important, so please, whatever you're doing now, check your supplements, check what you're taking, please don't listen to folic acid anymore and make sure you're getting something really nice and nourishing into your body. I post a lot of my favorite supplements on my Instagram page, so please come over there and have a look. If you want more information about fertility or your periods, click the subscribe button because I'm gonna be generating a lot more videos and I want to hear from you. Pop in the comment box below whether you're taking any supplements, what you've heard about folic acid, I'd love to hear from you and let me know if you feel any better when you change your multivitamins. I hope that helps and I really hope to see you soon. Bye.